Hi friends, it's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, located in the U.S. in Central Maryland. So I'm back today. I try to come on live once a week and share a fun card with you. Today I have a very fun card. It's a fun fold. Super cute. It's a curved pop-out card and we're using the Be My Valentine. So it has a super cute little bee. Just cute. All right, I'm going to turn the camera around. If you get sick, you should look away because the camera is going to move. And you'll see my big light, my big head, my ceiling. Uh, but it's all good. And I should be soon into my new crafting space. And I can't wait to share that with you. Let's see, move this, move that. Uh, let me pull this down a bit so you can see about me all right so there we are and let me see myself on the laptop i see somebody's already joined me say hey uh i am so happy you're here and i'm happy you're here whether you are watching live or on uh replay thanks for joining so this is the be my valentine stamp set and we're going to make a B with this B Builder Punch. Ooh, that punch is a little dirty. We're going to be using the body of the B, the stripes of the B, the wings of the B, a face for the B, antennas for the B, and the sentiment. Oh, and this little zoopy, zoopy, zoopy uh, flying. I think that makes it look like the B is buzzing around. So we're going to be using that. So let me put this aside in this cramped little space, and I'm going to show you the card. So here's the bee, and we're going to build him. There's the words we're going to use, and the little shh, shh, and on the back, you can, the more shh, little buzzing by, and you can write a nice um, sentiment here, a greeting to your friend. So it goes flat into the envelope like that. But then it pops out. So it will stand. Now this should be curved. And over time it's got a bend in it. But yours won't have that bend. Uh, so let me bring in my card kit. This was a card we made in my um, stamp club. We meet once a month. And I prepare projects. Prep everything for the club members. And they generally love being in the... Well... I think they like the club, love the projects. So here's all the pieces. This is actually a scrap of Petal Pink. We have the two white panels for the back for writing on. Our front, we're going to put our B and our sentiment. We have two pieces of DSP. That's designer series paper. And that is from the Country Woods uh, pack. And I'll share at the end a quick uh, catalog tour so you know where to find this. All these products, though, are found in the annual Stampin' Up's annual 24 to 2025 catalog. Hey, Trudy, thanks for joining. Um, all the measurements and pieces, supply list, you'll find at my blog. I'll be posting a blog after uh, this video, so go to my blog. Uh, hey, if you're on my YouTube channel, like and subscribe so you'll be notified next time I go live. So let's do some stamping first. Um, we're going to stamp on this piece. We're going to stamp on the scrap. We're going to stamp on that. And we're going to stamp on our two white pieces of cardstock. And let's start with uh, Memento Black Ink. I'm going to put my glasses on so it helped me see a little bit better. So across these two white pieces and our peach, we're going to put our our buzzy, buzzy image. That's what I think this buzzy image is. And I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. Let's see if I got a piece here. Well, we'll just use this. It's scrap. Because I like to keep a pristine, while I'm filming, when I'm live, I like to keep my workspace pristine. When I'm just by myself, mm, no way. Everything goes everywhere. Just like everybody else, I'm sure. Okay, so let's ink this up. Make sure you can see everything. So I'm going to ink up my 
fuzzy image and I want it to kind of go off the page a little bit off the edge like so and then I can I think put these two pieces right next to each other and continue on the buzziness so let me ink these up this time I'm going to turn it so the little loop is closer and then I can just look through because he's a photopolymer and line it up so you can't even see now we'll put so this image is done and then we'll do this side ink it up and maybe do that little loop-de-loop -loop up here and voila perfect now so these pieces are done and this is our curved piece and the same thing we want to buzzy buzzy it up and we're going to use a long edge and I don't think I need my well we'll see because we have I've already scored the ends like I said if you check out my blog I'll have the measurements where the scores go so you'll know all that how, how big to cut your cardstock, how, where the score lines, where you score it. So let's come back and do it this way. And we can look through our photopolymer, line it up, give it a little press. And I think we're good. So let's, we're almost here at the end for this one. And like that. That time we did go off, so I'm glad I put my scrap paper. And that's all the for the buzzy pieces. And now we can stamp our the sentiment. You'll always be the one for me. We we'll ink this up, and because it's photopolymer, we're gonna look through, and make sure that the ink is even all the way around. It looks that way. And I remember this stamp just fits inside those score lines. So I am centering it top and bottom. I think I did a pretty good job there. Uh, and now we can work on our B. So this is our scrap piece. And um, where is my... Here's the punch. So I want to be able to put this piece in this way. So our stinger is going to be pointing to the right. So let me ink up his stripes. And point the stinger to the... Oh, might have to turn this one over. Nah, it's good enough. Good enough. Um, so the next thing I'm going to put the memento aside and build the rest of our, our bee. So let me just set this aside. This is petal pink, the same color as the cardstock we're using. I'm going to get rid of my scrap. And now we have this solid image for the bee. And we're going to just put tone on tone. So we're doing petal pink. Again, I can look through and make sure that I've inked it up. And it does look good. And for this, I'm going to have the stinger outside of that body. And then try to line up the edges with the, the stripes. Sometimes you might find it's easier to stamp the body and then do the stripes. But... Um, that works for me. I think that's the only petal pink we have. And we can punch the body. Oh, let's put a face on him. What do you say? I think he's going to have a happy little face. So here's a happy little smile. Ink him up. And I just realized I did my bee the wrong way. 
So this B, the stinger is to the right, but on this side, the stinger is to the left. And I think I prefer that because I want him to be flying towards the sentiment. So I'm just going to turn this over and start anew. So here's a petal pink. Let's, let's try it this way. So let's do our body first. Actually, <laughs> yeah, you can only punch it with the stinger to the left. So let's punch this out and then turn him over. How's that? That'll work out better. And the photopolymer so we can look right through. Yeah, that's how it works. Let's do our bee body first. So now that we have it punched out, it's a stamped body. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'm sure you're all wondering. I have to keep an eye on this camera because, you know, sometimes it drifts. All right, so let's stamp the body. Like so. And it's going to go this way. The stinger will be to the left. Okay, I have to keep telling myself that. Stinger to the left. And now we're back with our memento. And now we're going to put our stripes on. And the stinger is to the left. Because we've already determined that's the way we want it. And now we can line it up. I think that's good. So just give a little press for like three seconds. Perfect. We can give him a face. he's happy it's a happy bee all right and now we are going to punch the rest so he needs some little antennas and these are hearts so this little antenna is a small heart which is coordinates here and the wings are the larger that's this medium heart so you can see if I want to, I'm going to have to come in with this bottom point here to punch that out. So it's upside down. So we're going to punch, we're going to stamp the antenna upside down. So there's our antenna. Ink those up, turn it, and stamp them upside down. And now, let's bring our punch back in. And... Center those and center the antennae. Punch. There they are. Little piece of scrap. And now we're going to come on this side and punch a stamp and punch the larger heart. And that is going to be the wings. And for the wings, I'm using the new basic beige. This looks really great, I think, against the petal pink. It makes it look like wings. And so this is going to come to the kind of on a slant with the top of the wings. Like this. You see that? Right like that. And that's a basic beige. And it comes out, when you first stamp it, it looks a little green, but um, it will lighten as it dries. And so we bring our wings in here. Does that look good? Lay down a little bit on the right. I think that looks... Mm. I'm second guessing myself. I should just punch, right? Get it over with. Punch. There we go. Done. Done deal. And now we can assemble our bee. So the bee, the wings are going to be towards the back at an angle, and the antenna towards the front, like so. And for that, I'm going to use my liquid glue. So I'll put a little dab of glue here in the bottom 
I'm so glad you're here with me, watching live or on replay. I am in a challenge. Oh, there's a. Do you ever have those? They call those a crapalanche. Excuse my French. This little area I'm stamping in is tight. I piled things up like a Jenga, <laughs> and I guess just uh, too much, too much movement, too much stuff. All, all the things. Okay, on with the show. So let me put a little dab of glue. Oh, what was I saying? I was um, in a challenge to grow my YouTube channel. So I would love it if you would, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, if you would uh, share with your friends, your crafty friends. My goal is to uh, gain subscribers. And I, because since I've been, now let's see that little clump. It's gone. Now my liquid glue should work. Um, yeah, I've had some success. I've gained a few subscribers, but hey, I'm always looking for more. And I feel like I have a lot of fun things to share. So, like and subscribe. Ooh, now that's way too much. So this is problematic. Let me uh, grab a little of this off. There we go. My scrap, back in the scrap pile. And turn this around and we're going to put these antenna right like so okay so there is our B and let me get my trusty bone folder so this piece here is scored on the ends so they're going to get folded back on those score lines I'm just crisping up that Four line. This is where it's going to attach to the card base. And then in the center, it's folded in half. Crisp that up. So that's good to go. And for our curved piece, again, the tabs get folded back and give them a good burnishing with my bone folder. And now we're going to come to our card base. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half, scored at three and three quarters. So it's just a quarter sheet scored in half on the long side. So we'll fold that up, score, burnish that score line. And I'm just going to go around the edges. See, it looks like they were pulled up a little bit. Maybe my. Um, Cutting blade was not as sharp as I would like. So, with our card base flat, we're going to put this piece on first, like so. And I'm going to use tear and tape on these ends. And I like tear and tape because it's super sticky and you can tear it. So this one might be a little bit long. So if it's a little long, just put your thumbnail and pull and problem solved. Except now it's sticking to me. So, and the same thing for the other side. Maybe I should try this this way. And tear it off. Okay. And it looks like, if I put this on my grid paper, that I've put it at a half inch up from the base. So if we use the grid paper and our corner, take this, pull this down, and then it should go right to the edge. Line that up. And then on the other end, and do the same thing. Put it right on that. Should lay flat in here. That looks about right. So that's our curved pop out. Now we want to cover these those tabs up, and that's where our DSP is going to come in. And this is the country woods, and each of these pieces. 
fit right in in the panel on the, like so now the question is these are distressed woods so I think I want some of that distressing on the outside like so and I can use my liquid glue for this I mean, even the other side would look nice, but I like that dark, darker um, looking distressed wood. So here I'll just put in some liquid glue, put my panel underneath, and center it right, left, top, and bottom. Right. There we go. And liquid glue gives you a little bit of forgiveness with it. There we go. Looks great. These lines here are just distracting my eyes and kind of giving an optical illusion that my DSP was not straight, but I really think it was the lines in the, the image of the paper, not the paper itself. So we'll slide this in and then do a right, left, top, bottom, kind of try to match the top up so that the paper is across. Yeah, I think that's good. And now we can put this piece on. And oh, if I eyeball this, it looks about a half inch. So if you can see on my grid paper to the top of this. So we should have a half inch on that side too. And I am going to use my Terran tape again. And I'm using that. Uh, using this product on this because I feel that there will be some movement and because it's sticky it will hold up the tear and tape will hold up to the the mechanism moving or the curve pop out so let's get this on there we go and these Flaps get folded under so about a half inch, like so. And then I want to line up my score line with my score line on the card base, like so. Take this covering off. Get my half inch line and my score lines on the same side so this is coming together really quickly and just there's the curved pop out working that's all the adhesive, well, glue and um, tear and tape. Now we're going to do some, oh, I lied about that. Because we have these two panels. This panel, there we go. You have to adhere them. So, yeah, back with the liquid glue. I'm not quite done yet. We are a few minutes away from that. And I will show you the quick catalog tour of all these products uh, in the Stampin' Up's annual 2024-2025 catalog. So stay with me. And there's really not that many products. It's a stamp set. It's a punch. Some paper. Some DSP. And that's about it. Okay, That is all the glue. And now we're going to put some bee. Uh, look, he's a bee on both sides. <laughs> Too cute. Too cute. And I'm going to put uh, some dimensionals on him so he can be a little buzzy. Buzzy bee. Now, we want to keep him on this panel because if his tail comes too far out or his wings, it will get crimped by the left side. So make sure that the whole B rests on the panel. And then 
there's plenty of room. There's maybe, I shouldn't say plenty. There is enough room for him to rest on that petal pink panel. Oh, that's a mouthful. Petal pink panel. Pa, 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 pa. Pee, 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 pee. All right. And we're going to get him on the panel. Like so. All right. There's our curved pop out. Can you see? Nice, right? Get a nice curve in that. But then it goes in an envelope and um, mails flat. So let me bring in my quick catalog. This is the annual Stampin' Up's annual catalog 2024 to 2025. Stampin' Up. And if we go to page 51, this is the paper right here is the Country Woods paper that we used on our panels. And then on page 75 is where we find the be my valentine and the bee builder punch they coordinate they're not a bundle but they do coordinate and then if we come on page 135 this is where we have the petal pink cardstock and ink pads on page 135 and let me turn the page and then on page 139 here's the basic white um and the beige you can find, find that beige ink pad here on 139 so there you go that was my quick catalog tour i told you it wasn't going to be very much but there's just a few um products for this so thank you for joining me today whether you're watching live or in replay i really appreciate your time and attention like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on, on uh, Facebook and you'll be notified next time I go live and share a fun project. Until next time, remember, stamping is fun. Bye.